very much, Les Clown Corlem. Les Clown Corlem, I know that every area of the country has suffered over the last few weeks in terms of what the weather has done. But I can only speak for the area that I know best. And in that area, uh, on Friday, the President will be visiting. And when she visits, before she gets to Dunamore, they're going to have to completely resurface and rebuild the road. Now, it's the only road in the area, by the way, that's going to be resurfaced and rebuilt, because the County Council don't have sufficient funds in order to do what's necessary. Now, I know that this story could be repeated all over the country, Wexford, Dublin, anywhere at all, even in Tallard, probably. But the unusual event that's going to occur on Friday, and which the President, I'm sure, will accept that all of the, country, all of the roads in County Cork are as perfect as the one she'll be driving on. She'll be like the Queen. She'll think that everywhere she goes, there's absolutely new roads. The County Council doesn't have enough money to redo the roads. In Cork, at 9 o'clock every night, the water is turned off because the water system can't hold the pressure. And this, this, is as a result of our economy going down the tubes. Going down the tubes. We have a country that's in dire need of infrastructure. Whether it's schools, roads, water, all of the things that a developed economy should have. And instead, what are we doing? We're bailing out the banks. And we're bailing out the banks to such an extent that our economy will take years to recover as a result of it. And the people who are expected to bail out the banks are the people that sit here every day and serve this country. Firemen, county council workers, they're all taking a hit in order to bail out the banks. And this government has decided that in the inquiry that is to be into this banking system and the failure of it, it's to be done in private. And it's to be done in private because they know that were it to be done in public, that the same people who are angry about having their pay cut and about not having decent roads to drive on would revolt if they saw what really did happen. The lack of regulation, the continuous, by a minister in here that continuously told us, regulation is the dead hand and it should be lighter and in fact we should have none. That is the type of scenario that has brought us to where we are. It's the type of scenario that we've heard from Fianna Fáil backbenchers in here tonight, telling us about the trouble their constituents are in in relation to mortgage, telling us about companies going out, going out of business because they can't get sufficient cash flow from the banks. And we're not to know what happened. We're not to know what happened, and we will never know what happened. And this inquiry is designed in order to take Fianna Fáil past the next election. And I heard a Fianna Fáil backbencher in here today saying, oh, the only focus is on Brian Cohn. Well, it's not. We'd like to know as well what Charlie McCreevy did during all of this. And we would equally like to hear from Bertie Ahern and Mary Harney. And I don't even think I'll mention the Green Party at this stage, because they don't appear to want to come in here at any stage now. John Gormley is like the Satchi and Satchi of the government. Every time I look, he's on the television, and every time I turn on the radio, he's on that, but he's never in here. Never in here. And, thank you. and we have an economy that's going down the tubes, and it's as a result of greed, greed and lack of regulation. And yet, the very people that will now be charged with investigating what happened in this country, we will not be able to see what they're doing, who they're questioning, and what the answers are. And we will eventually get a report, which will only lead us to another report. And yet, the ordinary person out there, the person that goes out and works every day of the week, <coughs> will be paying not just for the crisis, but they will equally be paying for the investigation, which this government has decided that they are not entitled to see. I think it's a disgrace. And I'm more than surprised at certain members of the government who are allowing it to happen, because I do know there are those over there who are distinctly uncomfortable with what's going on, and so they should. And I think it's about time that their voices were heard. Yeah.